Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal, Ruroni K95 here. So today, I'm going to do another DVD update. Because I have picked about nine of... Like, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven DVDs, one VHS, and one Blu-ray. For today's DVD update as well. Because i got to start with these first. From the very top how it began. When it comes to start doing a DVD update, so let's dive into some. Okay, the next one I have is Spaced, the complete series. Spaced, it revolves around two idle 20-something flatmates, immature skateboarding, would-be comic artist Tim, played by Simon Pegg from Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, and moody responsibility shy writer Daisy, played by Jessica Haynes and Lee Stevenson. And introduced their and their inducted lack of success in employment, relationships, and life in general. Together with their oddball assortment of friends and neighbors, Marsha, Brian, Mike, and Twist, they exist in a world urged to precautious, curiously on the edge of normality. Because I know this is a complete series. I got this like a dollar when I first got this at a book sale at my library. Because I know it's a Digipack DVD. Cause I, this is from uh, BBC Video. This is my first new one I got on DVD for the first time. Um, the next one I have is Pink Floyd The Wall. Because I know this movie features uh, Bob Geldof. Because I know the, some of the music in it is from Pink Floyd and all. The story of... Of the wall is told simply with the music of Pink Floyd images and of natural effects. There's no conventional dialogue to progress in our narrative. Our story is Pink, a rock and roll performer who, who sits it, locked in a, a hotel room somewhere in Los Angeles. Too many shows, too much dope, too much applause, and a burned out case on the TV. And all, all, all too familiar war film flickers on the screen. We shuffle time and space place, reality and nightmare as we venture into Pink's painful memories, each one a brick in the wall, was gradually built around his feelings, slowly he withdraws from the real world and slips further into his nightmare as he imagines him, himself as an unfeeling demagogue from whom that all that is left is the demonstration of the power over his unthinking audience, the culmination of the odious success of his own world and around the world around him. He, his internal self trial follows as the witness of his past life. The very people who have contributed to building the wall coming for word and testify against him. This is from Alan Parker explaining about the movie Pink Floyd the Wall. This movie was directed by Alan, Alan Park, Parker. Yeah, I know this did came with a poster, a movie, a free movie poster inside. I know this DVD is released by Columbia Music Video because we all know that this movie is rated R. Should have bought this if it, if, and this was originally on VHS from NGM UA Home Video as well. <clears throat> the next one I have is The Outsiders. In 1966, Tulsa, teenagers come two days. If you are a sock, you've got the money, cars, the future. But if you're a greaser, you are an outsider with only your friends. And a dream that someday you'll finally belong. Because I know this movie features Matt Dillon, Tom Cruise, Emilos, Estevez, C. Thomas Howell, Diane Lane, Patrick Swayze, Ra Ablo, and Ralph Macchio. Because this movie is based on the classic novel by Essie Hyten. Because this is directed by Francis for Coppola. Coppola, and uh, this is my first time owning The Outsiders on DVD as well. The next one I have is a horror movie that I got is Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. This is the one you're talking about, not the TV mini series, TV remake miniseries, that piece of crap one. No, this is The Shining. You know what? Speaking of The Shining... Okay, so... Here's my thoughts about the miniseries. The first epic horror film 
from a script his co adapted from the Steven Spielberg no Stephen King novel sorry director Stanley Kubrick Wells vivid performances menacing settings dreamlike track King shots it's after a shock in, into a milestone of the macabre because I know this features Shelley Duvall Jack Nicholson Danny Lloyd Scatman Crothers in this movie as well because this movie was released in 1980 this is the shining this is the one you're talking about the the true shining but not this miniseries they're gonna say oh the shining this is the shining no no this is the shining that's my opinion because don't bother with the TV miniseries the shining let's just watch the Stanley Kubrick version as well the next I have is Ghostbusters um, this is probably the best 80s movie that I have, because I know this features Bill Murray, Sigourney Weaver, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, Rick Moranis, Annie Potts, Ernie Hudson. This is directed by Ivan Reitman, who did heavy metal in this movie. <coughs> this is the original Ghostbusters, not the 2016 one. piece of crap -o. No, this is the original one, because... There. Okay, when a university downsizes the parapsychologically department, doctors Vankman, Stance, and Spangler make the leap from scientists to Ghostbusters, the investigators and experiments of paranormal pests. The bewitching Dana Barrett Sigourney Weaver discovers her refrigerator has become into a portal ordal into the spiritual dimension of our heroes then come face to face with an ancient evil force with the plans to raise hell in Manhattan. Because I know this has a commentary, has a live commentary, which it has like a Mystery Science Theater 3000 style commentary. What do you see on the back of Ghostbusters? Um, the next I have is a Martin Scorsese film, The Last Waltz. Because I know this, this is like a 70s concert movie and all. Because this features Bob Dylan, Eric Clapton, Neil Young, Johnny Mitchell, Van Morrison, Neil Diamond, Emmylou Harris, Muddy Waters, The Staples, Ringo Starr, Ron Wood, J Dr. John, Paul Butterfield, and Ronnie Hawkins. This is directed by the same guy who did Goodfellas, Raging Bull, The Aviator, I believe. Because theirs has two commentaries and it has rare unseen footage and behind the scenes feature it. I look forward to plan on watching the other. Uh, the last waltz. Um, the next one I have is Remember the Titans. This is a Denzel Washington movie that I got. <clears throat> so, Academy Award winner, winner Denzel Washington, who is the best actor for a training day in the hurricane, gives a victorious performance in the stirring and uplifting film based on a real life drama. Remember the Titans, a rousing celebration of how torn apart by recent fiction. And mistrust comes together in triumphant harmony. This year is 1971, after the hit leading his team to 50th in winning seasons. Football coach Bill Yost, played by Will Patton, is demoted and replaced by Herman Boone, played by Danzel Washington himself. Tough opponent and as different from the beloved Yost as he could be. How these two men overcome their differences and turn a group of hostile young men into champions plays out in a remarkable and triumphant story of full, full of soul and spirit. You and your family will, will never forget the Titans. Because I know this is a Denzel Washington movie. I got this at a book sale at a, at a library for a dollar, I believe. The next I have is Future Force. This is my favorite David Carradine film. <clears throat> a civilian operated... Oh. When the crime ruling the streets and the police department out of control, there was no other choice but to call the cops. A ruthless band of bounty hunters in the civilian, as in the civilian-operated police state, action superstar David Carradine electrifies the screen as John Tucker, the most powerful and feared of the cops, a leader of the city's future force. He stops at nothing to capture each bounty. Within murder and corruption exposed with the organization, Tucker takes the law into his own hands. Armed with a bionic cannon and a .357 Magnum, Tucker is in the city's only hope for protection from his, its own, hand, own band of mercenary killers. 
This is probably my favorite Dar David Carradine film, because I know this did have a sequel called Future Shock or something like that. I don't know. And the last one I have is Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, because I know this features J Kevin Smith, Jason Mewes. This is probably... It's probably got... Uh, Ben Affleck, El Shannon Elizabeth, Will Ferrell, Jason Lee, Chris Rock in this movie. Because this is probably my favorite Jay and Silent Bob movie I have. is Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Oh yeah, because they were trying to... Going from like Newark, New Jersey to Hollywood, California and all. And this movie did feature George Carlin. Because... And this did feature Jason Biggs as a cameo in it, where he's from, because, you know, American Pie actors are in this movie as well, like, Elizabeth, Shannon Elizabeth and Jason Biggs in it. And that guy from Dawson, Dawson's Creek in that. This, this is, for Jay and Silent Bob that began in Clerks and ran through Mallrats, Chasing Amy, and Dogma. When his best, when best buddies Jay... Silent Bob discovered that the major motion pictures are being lightless. They head for Hollywood to claim the big movie money they deserve. And the big dopey duo team cut out of the cash. Sabotage the flick at all costs. Cause there's cameos in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back as well. This covers up my DVD update. That's going to be it for my DVD update, you guys. Thanks for watching. But before we go, here's my quick thoughts. Because I have seven DVDs I have and as well as one movie on Blu-ray and as well as on VHS. This totals up to nine for today's DVD update. So, I got this at a book sale back, like, a couple of years back, I believe. Hope to subscribe for content, and I plan link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook, if you have a Twitter and Facebook account. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment if, if you love this DVD update, because I haven't done one in quite a while. Haven't done one before until now, because this is the first time I'm doing my DVD update in the whole Cool Duder way. So give a shout out to Cool Duder and Wet Movie 1 because this is my newest DVD update video. Even though I do mostly anime updates as well. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please click on my subscribe button. Become a subscriber to Ruroni K95 because I have 474 subscribers. If I get another I'll have 475 because I'm reaching up to 400 76 if I get another subscriber. Be sure to click on my notifications bell button, read the updates I'll put on YouTube as well. Don't miss any of my new video updates as well, because I did my DVD shopping video as well. Sorry about the thumbnail problems. Sorry about that. But it's on YouTube as well, if you if you could watch it. So, yeah. Like, subscribe, favorite, comment, share on social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, etc. <coughs> Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment if you love this video. Be sure to click on my subscribe button and become a subscriber to Ruroni K95, which is my YouTube channel, because I'll have 476 subscribers because I, uh, as well because I have 474 subscribers, as well. So, be sure to click on my notifications bell and don't miss any of my new updates on my YouTube video as well. And that's so don't miss any of my new videos that I've uploaded recently, last Saturday, and that's it. So this is my DVD update, because I know today's Monday, because tomorrow's going to be Tuesday. This is Roni K95 saying, I hope, I'm glad you liked my DVD update video. I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy. Hope to see you soon, and have a great d day, because tomorrow's going to be Tuesday. This is Roni K95 signing off, and thanks for watching.